what will you do for a sector which has probably more colleges than successful startups? Well, the answer to this question should be start more startups, right? Well, this video is about that. Hello and welcome to Biotechnica, where we are creating a platform to help future entrepreneurs, future CEOs, just like you. Now, I firmly believe that every student of today is a scientist of tomorrow or a CEO of tomorrow. And they're going to work together to build and solve bigger battles. Now, start with, I've always told in my videos that you don't have to start a complicated biotech company. Start with simple and build on the top of it. Now, like I said in the beginning, in our country today, there are more research organizations and colleges than the number of startups. And that means need to create jobs if is even more than earlier. And I think creating jobs is one of the best thing you could do for this sector. So if you start a biotech company, probably you are potentially going to employ a minimum of 20 people and those 20 people livelihood you will be able to support. Plus, of course, you will earn a lot of money in crores. So today I'm going to outline the procedure, the process which you need to follow to start your simple biotech company one by one. Now, in my previous videos, I've always talked about idea and that is the first step. You have to first finalize and find out your idea. How do you find out your idea? Now, you have to keep in mind four things. The first is, is my idea my strong point or not? My or my team's strength? So even if I know some people who, whose strength is not biotech, but still they have started a company in biotech. So definitely you can do, even if you don't have an experience in biotech, but still you have to find out what's your strength, right? If your strength lies in molecular biology, cell biology or anything, so you know that can be your niche. You have to identify your niche and then you have to work in that direction. So focus on specific area within bi biotechnology, such as drug development, diagnostics, personalized medicine, agriculture, food, and various other aspects of biotechnology. Now then you have to do your market research. So you have to go into the market, talk to people, and of course, find out if there is a demand for the idea which you want to do. And don't just talk to people in your city. Reach out to people from different parts of the world. Recently, I was approached by a company which is into making eco-friendly sanitary pads. And they said, we are reaching out to people in European Union and US also, as well as China, to find out if they also need this kind of a product. So research the market, understand the demand, find existing competition. Now remember, if there is no competition in the idea, in the market where you are trying, that also means that the market itself may not exist. So you have to find out if there is a competition and even if it is not, you have to find out there is a demand or not. Now find out the gaps in the industry. Find out your product will solve. So prob probably you have to look at the problem solving of the product. So what kind of problem it is going to solve for the future of the industry. So first point I said is find your strength. Next point is future. Will this product be in demand 10 years from today, 20 years from today, 50 years from today? That also you have to keep in mind to make sure that there is a longevity of the product. For example, so there's a food tech company which is you know, making apples look more uh, beautiful, right? But what if tomorrow there are no apples, right? Will that company survive? Yes, that's a question to be asked. So you have to keep in mind that your product should solve the problems of the future also, not just present, okay? So that's the second criteria in shortlisting your business idea. The third will be how much capital you'll require. Now, suppose you want to start a drug discovery company and you require say 50 crore or 100 crore grant and nobody can give you that. So yes, there is a problem. So you have to keep this in mind that if you have the capital, then only you can start. So if something which is your area of interest, which you like, love and want to do throughout your life for the next two, probably 50 years of your life, but requires less starting capital, that kind of a company you can definitely start. So, and then of course it should have a future demand. Now the next thing should be, but now that you've done your market research, you know what kind of competitors are there, what are they doing? Why they are doing and what are the prices that we, which they're doing? Of course, a part of market research you have to do to finalize your idea. So now that you've got the idea, next comes developing a business plan. Now, business plan is something which you can obviously Google out or chat GPT out and find out what exactly it is and how to create. But I'll just try to outline what exactly you should be finding here. Now, many of us just think that, okay, my job is to make oranges, so I will create a factory of oranges, right? But it's more than that. You need to define your mission, your vision, what, what you want to become, where you want to target, all of that. You need to detail the product and services you intend to develop. You need to include the market analysis, financial projections, and a roadmap for 
product development and commercialization now even though if you do if you're not able to figure out on the day one don't worry you will do it over a period of time what i said is idea is the most important thing business plan can always be done you can always reach out to your mentor or someone who will for you okay now next thing which would be there is define your target customer so who would buy your product so buyer's persona you have to identify that okay this this is the kind of person who will buy my product so suppose it is anti-aging cream who will buy it so you have to think about it you have to identify who is going to be your target market and then think how would you reach out to that target market how would you inform them that you exist and that is very very important that is called as distribution so it's not just about creating the product it is also about how would you distribute your product to your target audience right now further to that you should also form a team right so generally what people do mistakes is they will uh, identify some friends and they will become business partners or they will uh, identify somebody in their family and they will become business partners both is okay but remember whatever relationship you share with them even then have a solid agreement done by a lawyer so that there is clear demarcation of your responsibilities your duties what you want to become what you want to do who will be handling what part of the business and how would you do be doing that it has to be completely defined and you have to do that and uh, definitely uh, the lawyer will charge you some fees but if you do not do that and if there are not no well defined duties then the clashes will happen and that those clashes will create a lot of mental tension and stress for you and your partner so remember in business you have to have everything in black and white so get a agreement done with your business partner and then start hiring founding team so if you want to hire founding team of course you can do that at biotechnica you can always uh, you know uh, send across your job post on us our website and app and then of course you can hire people now even before you hire people you will need money right so that means we need funding right so initially you may not need funding you can always incorporate a private limited company and give shares to your founding team right so you could recruit experts from who have complementary skills from science business development and sales and regulatory affairs and all that and then of course you can start working on the product but now you need funding now you should know that there is a foundation called as i biome foundation i am a trustee of that there you can get all the information about what kind of funds and grants are available which is being given by the government and a lot of entrepreneurs and ceos are a part of i biome and uh, they have a very small annual fee of 2500 rupees if you become a member there they will guide you on how to get the funding for your business right and of course i will also guide you there as well as through biotechnica i will guide you so now that you have uh, started applying so you have birak you have serb you have various other agencies and various uh, colleges and universities also give grants to startups to start and then once you have done that so you will get roughly it starts at 10 lakh rupees it goes up to a few crore rupees they will give you based on the idea and the success rate and now that you have found, assembled the founding team and you have the money you have to form the legal structure and uh, make sure that it is a registered then only of course you can get the funding you have to choose the right legal structure especially if it if you are targeting for a uh, long term then of course you should uh, go for a private limited company now followed by that if you are developing something proprietary then you should always get it patented and keep the formula safe do not expose the formula to anybody including your employees make sure that the formula what you have developed or your team has developed is completely confidential and you have a patent or a trademark or something and you, you must have a logo you must have a web, website so that you can demo, uh, demonstrate it to your future clients or how exactly you're going to work in this direction now comes uh, setting up lab and office so you should know that government of karnataka has various shared office initiatives where you get a lab and you can uh, rent the lab and multiple other companies are also sharing the lab with you so it is in bangalore bio innovation center where you can go or you have c camp where you can go and you can incubate your startup and you can start working it your startup could be a one person company which is only you with a laptop or it could be you know five or seven people who are working with you and you can work in there and you you, you have to obviously pay rent but of course that money would be coming in from byrac or some other agency and uh, so initial product development will take some time say uh, two months to two years or five years also it can take so once a product is developed make sure that you create a proof of concept first 
you go ahead and start with the proof of concept of course you create an mvp that is minimum viable product then collaborate with academic institutions and scientists and research organizations to test it so get a certification or regulatory whatever things you require develop the prototype showcase it to the end user or a customer take feedback what exactly they are saying what do you think has to be changed do rigorous testing of your product and validate it to ensure efficacy safety and accuracy and if in case if needed you may have to go for clinical trial or food testing if it is in food tech or any kind of testing which is required by the regulatory boards you have to do that right so that is about uh, now you you have a company running and after that of course by the time you have reached this stage you will need a lot of mentors and uh, you are most welcome to reach out to me i am right here in bangalore you can come and meet me and i will definitely help you out and mentor you or otherwise i by home will mentor you so these are the things you can do at uh, while you're trying to start but remember the funds which are coming to you from the government that is taxpayer money then don't just take it for granted any day they may stop because if you are not achieving your targets they will stop it so you have to keep in mind that uh, you have to save the money you should not splurge government grants and incentives are always there for example in united states if you are you have sbir sttr in india you have birac and dbt and crb then you have various other funding rounds which is available through venture capitalists so you can always reach out to them and do it now coming to the idea stage again uh, it is very important all other things will follow but if the idea is wrong or if you have chosen a wrong idea you will struggle a lot and i have done that mistake many a times in my life uh, probably i have tried more than 32 different ideas before i started biotechnica it's important to know if the idea is right or not and that is where a mentor comes into picture and of course um, you should always get into some kind of strategic partnership with other companies which might help you in digital marketing which might help you in sales which might help you in uh, creating channel partners and distributorship they might help you in uh, other things uh, like research and development or sharing the infrastructure so you have to be vocal you have to reach out to other entrepreneurs and they will definitely help you out and now coming to the last part which is commercial sale in a, in the market now it can be either a b2b which is business to business for example you are selling a chemical to biocon or b2c which which is business to consumer for example you are selling a fermented probiotic to the end user so that's a direct to consumer and then it could be uh, something which you are selling to the government for example through the egem portal you can always sell that so of course you are selling to csir labs So of course there are multiple ways you can do it but if you want to go global and earn crores this is a very nice uh, blueprint which i gave you we do have a book on entrepreneurship and it you can check that out and um, i have personally written that book and a lot of good feedback we have received it's just 200 rupees probably check the link in the description you can download that you can buy that and then you you will get a complete end to end life cycle of how to start a company what all things you have to do and how to raise funds where to go whom to talk all that is included and of course sub- stay subscribed to biotechnica because we keep sharing latest ideas on biotech which you can use in your business which you can use to start your biotech company and earn crores remember my aim of starting this uh, uh, campaign or you know doing these kind of videos is not to earn any kind of money i'm doing it because i want each one of you probably to start a company and make me proud my aim my goal is to help my subscribers by technica subscribers start 10000 companies in the next 60 or 70 years by the time and uh, i die i want to be proud that i help 10000 startups start a company in this world thank you so much for watching see you soon till then keep shining bye bye